Okay, just here uh, with my friend Arthur he called and thought he had some honeybees. And uh, I've got called a couple of times, but it's always like hornets. And there was a big storm that had rolled through a while ago and knocked the back wall down here. And uh, so I showed up to take a look and sure enough, it's honeybees. So I grabbed some of this cloth um, that I just had in the shop and they're still flying in at night. So I need to do a staple in a little bit more, but you can see down in there. It's a little hard to see all the comb. So it's the coolest thing ever. So we're just going to try to get this thing out of here for tonight. And then I'll figure out how to, how to get them out. We I mean, made it out of the shed. Look at that. So. Okay, I just parked these in the shed last night. Kept them covered. Oh, everything's still really quiet and nice in there. Now I just got to figure out how to get them out of there. This box isn't screwed down from the top. It's like a really fancy like in stapled in so i can't pull the top off so i'm gonna have to come up with something to try to get them in a hive but i kind of think that any queen that can make a colony like that is is worth trying to to not save she's obviously doing a great job but just to get her into kind of the local program would be awesome so we'll see if we can video this a little bit super excited about it all pretty neat is crazy heavy. Be calm, it's awesome. Okay, we're in the middle of combining, spraying, and everything else, but we're going to attempt this bee retrieval. Stay tuned. Well, I took a minute or two. So I just bent a box and I got my crazy carpet and I'm gonna just shove it in there and cut that comb off the box. We're gonna hope that it all works and then I'll be able to just pull the whole thing back out. Okay, we're down at the, where I dropped off the box. Uh, so we're gonna get ready to start working. I brought, I brought one box of some brood comb and then I brought one full of honeycomb um, a super and then two empty ones so we'll see what we can kind of come up with here I bought the tripod but I'm going to be doing a lot of it under um, red light too so hopefully we can still get the gist of it once I try out my my fancy tool invention here to see if it works so So we are basically hoping the queen is in there. Isn't that insane? I don't know how am I going to get all that in there. I did get stung once already under the glove. Okay. Um, so I've never done that before. And I'm going to say that getting it out of there that was a huge win, but oh my goodness, you are taking a crap shoot of not knowing where the queen is. So I think I started pulling out what I thought was brood and then I left and I'm just gonna hope that there, I put enough bees into the hive that they're gonna sort of accept it. I've never seen so many bees, like this is a, if I, if I can get that queen and find her and like make queens from this colony, they are thriving. Unbelievable. So yeah, I'll just tip this. I'll take this out actually. 
I gotta go. I think what time is it? Uh, quarter after 12. So I gotta get on the sprayer. You can see how many are still way back in there. So I'm basically hoping I gave them enough room and that they'll make something out of those boxes, even though they're a mess in there, right? Like it's not good. But I tried and it would be great because they had to get moved out of the, the shed they were in at the people. So you're doing your best with what you have, but what an exciting thing to try to do. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Um, maybe I'll come take a look tomorrow morning and see what they're all doing then. Oh yeah, me and Alex are just down here in the morning. So, uh, looking good. I mean, a lot of them are going to be in the box. I still need to deal with all that comb. So maybe tonight or one night I can. But I think a lot have went in. So hopefully they're accepting the new house. I should have put a pallet underneath there. There's one thing I should have. good job cleaning it all out though so hopefully they're just cleaning that up and then they'll bring that over to their new home hopefully i'm calling that a win